Greetings of Peace in Christ. We in the CFC International Council are happy to announce that the Lord has blessed us with a team to guide our community for the year 2025. Looking back at this year, it was a grace from the Lord to remind us to be a servant and a light to the nations. This team, drawn from the book of Isaiah, was a powerful reminder that what we have accomplished as a community is too little and that we are made for greatness. This greatness to which the Lord calls us can be fulfilled through humility and obedience in Christ. For 2025, the Lord is calling our community back. Rejoice, take courage, return to Galilee. Taken from Matthew 28, verses 8 and 10. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. After weeks of preparation, including prayers, frequent reception of the sacraments, study and reflection on the scriptures, and dialogues with CFC leaders, the International Council, together with our wives, gathered for a weekend of prayer and discernment. Accompanying us through this journey was our CFC spiritual advisor, Reverend Father Joel Hasson. It was a weekend filled with solemn encounters with the Lord Jesus through a recollection given by Father Joel. Daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist and time spent listening before the Blessed Sacraments. Through the generous and very passionate and enlightening sharing of God's messages with one another, the Lord united our hearts, minds, and spirit. Inspired by one of Father Joel's homilies, we are called to return to Galilee. In the Gospel of Matthew, the women discovered the empty tomb of our Lord. In seeing the empty tomb of Christ, they became fearful yet overjoyed. Rejoice is a perfect response to the good news of Christ rising from the dead. Along the way, they encountered Christ, who said, Do not be afraid, urges us to take courage, and instructed them to tell the brothers to go to Galilee. Why return to Galilee? because the Lord wants us to return to the place of remembering, rejuvenation, and recommissioning. It was in Galilee where they first encountered the Lord and where the disciples responded to His call to discipleship. In the same way, in Galilee, He calls us to remember, to reminisce and be reminded of the love of Christ to our first call to mission. Through this remembering, we experience rejuvenation refreshing us so that we can be more in touch with His people and the Spirit. Lastly, Galilee is a place of recommissioning, calling for us to expand our horizons and go into the deep. It was in Galilee that the Blessed Mother gave her fiat in salvation history. This is reflected in what St. Paul wrote in his letter to the Galatians. God sent His Son, born of a woman. That woman is Mary. Thus, in rejoicing, being courageous, and returning to Galilee, we look to our Blessed Mother to be our model of missionary discipleship. Pope Francis emphasized that in returning to Galilee, there the Lord had met and first called the disciples. So, to go to Galilee means to return to the grace of the beginnings, to regain the memory that regenerates hope, memory of the future bestowed on us by the risen one. This affirms what our Holy Father calls us to celebrate in the Jubilee year 2025, Pilgrims of Hope. As one community, we are called to be Pilgrims of Hope, returning to Galilee. God's blessings be upon you and your families. Couples, Couples for Christ, rejoice! rejoice. Take courage, return to Galilee.